Hello fellow followers and welcome back to Van Scene. Greg here and today for you, John Carpenter's The Fog and Jim Davis's Garfield Halloween Adventure are kind of the same and I have noticed the similarities for quite some time now and I've really been wanting to do a video on this and what better time to do a video on it now that uh, you know the Fog 4K is out. Uh, unfortunately I don't have the Garfield Halloween Adventure with me right the, at the moment but uh, yeah after watching both of these again because I wanted to double check Yes, they are very, very much, very much the same, and I'm hoping that maybe I can convince you guys when you see this video. But before we get into all this, I really want to say thank you for clicking on this video. And if anybody's out there that's new or anybody's watching this, if you haven't, please consider subscribing, joining the channel, become a channel member, sharing the video out. And if you do like what you see here, please consider hitting that like button after the video is done because I really want you guys to see the video first. And also, uh, click check the description down below because I do have a link for you guys to go ahead and purchase uh, "In Search of Darkness" Part Three. The Final Journey to 80s Horror, uh, which we'll be covering some 80 hor 80s Horror in this video with The Fog. Um, yeah, that, that really helps my channel. If you click that link and you purchase a copy, it does help my channel to help me provide you with lots more content and uh, and so much other things. But anyways, on to the similarities. Now, the first half of Garfield's Halloween Adventure is very much Garfield. It's, you know, it's got the song, it's got Scaredy Cat, it's got, uh, you know, Jim and Odie and... Um, all that, you know, or Garfield and Odie and all that. And then uh, the second half of Garfield's Halloween Adventure is where the similarities really kick in to the fog. And uh, it just, once you see it, you you probably won't be able to unsee it. So uh, Garfield and Odie, uh, in a search for Halloween candy, um, end up on this small island out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you know, much like Antonio Bay in the fog. And they run across this old man who starts to regale them with a pirate ghost story about these pirates that are searching for their lost gold. And tonight is the night they're coming back to them right to this house. And it's very creepy. And this is, you know, this Garfield episode gets really creepy in this part. It gets really scary because I know Jim Davis really wanted to, uh, you know, Take the, take the show as a special and turn it into something that might frighten a little kid. You know, it's Halloween special, but not too scary. But yeah, you see it. And, uh, if you go to the beginning of the fog, we get a, a pirate ghost story told to us by an old man as well, too, on Antonio Bay. Uh, he regales everybody, all these kids with, uh, you know, this tale of these pirates who, uh, you know, had leper and leprosy and all that and they're searching for their lost gold here on Antonio. Well, they don't quite know if it's lost gold right, right away, but you do find that out later on as the movie goes well, uh, goes along there as lost gold. But, you know, we get a very similar story between both of them. We get very similar stories between both of them. Very, you know, old man and everything. And, uh, you know, that's where the, you know, that's where the similarities start to start and then as it progresses the pirate ship shows up on Garfield and the pirates show up and they're very ghostly they're sort of foggish themselves uh, the pirates are and they you know they come in they attack this uh, this place old man gets away um, and you know they corner Garfield and Odie and o they don't know what to do and kind of you know once again it gets a little little scarier than uh, normal specials at that time and as you can see you know Garfield and Odie and the pirates and then we'll move on to the fog and then you see the ship rolling in on the fog and these ghosts pirates come out and they start to attack the town and you you know when the fog rolls in you see the, the ghost pirates in this fog and they're here there for their long lost gold at the church uh father malone and you know very similar how they back everybody into this building just much like garfield and odio was backed in to the building and you know we got a lot of that in this you know right here with the fog and uh the and the pirates. I mean, if you cannot see the similarities by now, uh, then I don't know what to do because this was really cool. I really liked, uh, finding this out. Uh, Tom from Midnight's Edge actually put me onto this, uh, a while back. And then I, you know, after I rewatched them again, I was like, yeah, yeah. And plus the 4K of the fog is beautiful. It's great. I love the Shout Factory. And, you know, it's been out on 4K for a while as well, too. But it was really great. And to compare and contrast these. And I hope you, you know, you guys saw that in those videos there. Uh, you know, how, how similar they are. And of course, Odie and, uh, Garfield get away and they get their candy back and it, it's just a really fun Halloween um you know special that you know doesn't get talked about as much I mean I love the penis Halloween special and uh you know I love so many other ha Halloween specials out there and Garfield's one that sort of fell off over the years and uh if you've not seen it check it out because it is really good special and like I said the second half of Garfield's Halloween adventure 
really picks up. It gets really scarier for kids. Maybe not for adults, but back then that was that was actually pretty uh, you know intimidating for a kid. It's pretty scary. But there is a lot of similarities to the fog in that, especially that second half. And then you know if you haven't picked up the fog or if you haven't seen the fog, go check out the fog. It's a really great movie. And then maybe you can compare and contrast yourself whether you guys see similarities or if you don't see similarities. I see a lot of similarities there. Um, I think it's a fun it's a fun comparison. Like I mean, look at that. I just love the way I did my thumbnail here it sort of like flows in with the fog and it's up I just i use this before i put all the bells and whistles on it but look at that that's pretty cool i i think there's a lot of similarities here uh i i wish i could uh delve further into this and make this video a bit longer than it is because uh as far as i could tell i couldn't tell if jim davis was inspired by the fog because like i said uh garfield came out in 1985 uh, on October 30th, and The Fog came out in 1980. It was filmed in 78, so they could have very well, uh, The Fog could have very well inspired Jim Davis to tell this. And, I mean, at, at the end of the day, you cannot be a good old-fashioned ghost pirate story. You know, ghost pirates, lost gold, a small island, creepy, creepy atmosphere, uh, Halloween night for Garfield. And, and, you know, it's not Halloween on The Fog, but it's very creepy. And it's just, I mean, Garfield, John Carpenter, The Fog, Jim Davis... Who would have thought, man? That is, I, I dig, I dig that, and I dig being able to see similarities between these two, uh, two awesome things that I love watching, and they're great to watch around Halloween. And if you've not seen them, check them out, and let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments section down below. Do you think there are similarities? Do you think one inspired uh, the other? Uh, have you ever seen either one of these? Let me know all that in the comment section down below and let me know what your thoughts are because I do like reading your comments and I do like hearing what you guys have to say as well too. And also, like I said, please consider liking, joining, subscribing, hitting that bell for notifications, sharing the video out, and hitting up uh, you know 80s Horror Doc, my link I got down below for In Search of Darkness Part 3. And also, if you're a fan of 80s Horror and my channel, please consider checking out my merchandise. Get this awesome, cool retro scare uh, to keep watching. Uh, watching 80s horror uh t-shirt i got for you guys um i got a bunch of other stuff there if you guys if you guys want i don't i very rarely promote my merch but check it out but anyways let me know what you guys think about all this and i thank you guys for watching wherever you guys are please have a great safe happy healthy day morning afternoon evening and night always support physical media it is a superior format happy halloween godspeed i think i'll see what's on tv good evening and welcome to our all-night pirate movie festival Thank <laughs> you.